Okay, as we get going on this, our goal is to find the partial derivatives of this function. Um, the first one is we're gonna find the partial derivative with respect to x of this function. So when we get started, let's go ahead and first rewrite this. Instead of a square root, this is gonna be easier to see if we rewrite it so it's raised to the one half power. All right, from here, I've just replaced the square root over this whole thing with a set of parentheses around all of it. So now it's raised to the one half power. When you're doing the partial derivative with respect to x, it's important to note that we're treating x as though that's our only variable. So we have an x here and an x here. We're gonna to wanna to differentiate this and treat everything else as though it's a constant, even if it does have a y or if it's a number. So in doing this, we're gonna bring the 12 along first. Next up, I'm going to have to use the chain rule on the rest of it. So the chain rule says we're gonna bring the exponent down in front. So the one half from up in the exponent comes down in front. We're gonna copy down everything that was on the inside here. And we're gonna reduce the exponent by one. So one half minus one makes a negative one half. And we're probably gonna leave our answer with a negative exponent because that's perfectly okay. All right, next up, we have to take the derivative of the inner function. Remember, we're treating only our x's as being our variable. Everything else is constants. So the derivative of that first term, we can say six and then br bring down the exponent and multiply it. So we can say 36 x to the, re reduce the exponent by one, so we get a five. And then when we're looking at the three y, there are no x's there. So we treat this all as though it's constants. The derivative of a constant is gonna be zero plus, let's go ahead and bring along our constants, the four and the y cubed, and then the derivative of x is just gonna be one multiplied by those constants. And there we have the derivative, uh, the partial derivative of f with respect to x. Um, we could clean this up a little bit, um, like 12 times one half makes six, copy all of this back down, I'm gonna leave it with that negative exponent. And we'll probably just go ahead and get rid of that zero in the middle here. That'll make it look a little bit nicer. I wouldn't expand this out or anything else. All right, for the partial derivative of f with respect to y, we're gonna treat y as though that's our only variable this time through. So again, bring the 12 down. We're gonna to have to use the chain rule. So we're gonna go ahead and bring along everything that's on the inside. We're gonna reduce the exponent by one and bring down our old exponent. So that one half comes down in front and then multiply this by the derivative of what's on the inside. This time we're looking at y as being our variable. So we're, we concentrate on those terms. I'm not gonna focus on that first term. Um, it's six x to the sixth power. So there aren't any y's. So we're gonna treat that like a constant. Derivative of a constant is gonna be zero. Derivative of three y is gonna be three plus as I'm taking the derivative of this last term, I'm gonna bring my exponent down in front and go ahead and multiply it by the four. So we have 12, x we're treating like a constant, and then y to the second power as we reduce this exponent by one. All right, we may clean this up just a little bit that 12 times one half makes six. Copy everything on the inside back down here. We'll leave the negative exponent. Usually not a big deal to leave that and then we'll have 12 x y squared. And there's our partial derivative of f with respect to y. As you're doing these, just remember which variable you're focused on as um, being the one you're differentiating with respect to. Hope this helps out. Good luck.